Hey everybody, just thought I'd give a quick rundown here on how my Impact LX from Nectar will work with Reason. So basically I'm just going to kind of cover uh, the mixer section, how that works, um, maybe controlling an effects unit, and then how the instruments are controlled as well too. So we'll get started. Um, right now I've got my mixer set up right now, so you can see over here on the right hand side. And um, as long as I have the mixer button pushed right here, my faders are controlling volume. What do you know? Uh, over there in the master section uh, for a reason. Now, what you will have to do first, because you could have multiple mixers running at any given time within uh, reason, so you have to tell reason what keyboard you want to lock onto, basically. So the way you do that is you can right click here on the master section and click on lock whatever your device is. In this case, it's Nectar Impact LX49 Mixer, not the regular one. You want Mixer mode to this device. Um, but you could do the same thing, actually, if I were to open up Groove Mixer. Let me move this out of the way. And right click over here, and I could say lock to this device. And now, check it out. Now we're actually locked over to the uh, Regroove Mixer, which is actually pretty cool. But for now, we'll just work on the master section here. So once again, I'll right click and do mixture mode to this device. So I already showed you volume. Uh, panning will be over here on the encoders as they should be. So you can see track one, track two, all that good stuff. Uh, if I had more than eight tracks, I can bank over pretty quickly. Uh, these two buttons here double as bank left and bank right. So you can go through in groups of eight basically. Um, what else do we got here? Mixer, uh, master fader is on nine. So fader number nine will always be your master fader. If I want to go through and mute tracks, the buttons are set up by default uh, to mute individual tracks. If I want a solo one, I can hold down fader button nine and then uh, push the corresponding fader button of the track I want to solo. Pretty straightforward, but actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let us look at the instruments now. So I'll switch over to my rack here <clears throat> in Reason. Um, I can move tracks by using my track left and right buttons, basically. And I guess the first thing I'll do will be this delay unit up here. So whenever I'm controlling one of the, whether it's an instrument or a effects unit, I want to make sure that we push instrument mode here. Because if we're still in mixer mode, then we'll be controlling, obviously, the mixer and not the rack itself. But now that I switched over to instrument, all of our knobs here, if I'm not mistaken, are good to go. So this is the dry wet on that delay. And then I think we have panning left, right, feedback. Everything's mapped out really well. Actually works really great. Um, now if I wanted to control an actual instrument, I can just switch on over down to maybe something like subtractor. And once again, everything is um, pretty much set up ready to go. So we have our frequency cutoff, resonance here. Actually, a really cool thing is that the faders will correspond with your amp envelope and your filter envelope. So if I were to go through and catch these, it has a soft takeover. I can do the first four for my amp envelope. And then the uh, last four here are for the filter envelope. Now, at any time, if I wanted to go through and kind of temporarily remap it to make things a little bit more convenient, um, Nectar actually did a pretty cool thing. All I have to do is hold down shift on the LX keyboard and touch whatever parameters I want to reassign. So I'm going to hold down shift, I'll move the ADSR for the mod envelope, and then in the right order I can just touch four faders, and then bam, it's been completely reassigned, which is pretty wicked. Uh, and this is only a temporary assignment, so if I were to switch tracks, come back again, then we're back in control over the envelope, uh, amp envelope, excuse me. So it's pretty convenient. Um, the default mappings are good, and then when you need to go through and kind of zone in on a particular section, just hold down shift, click on the parameters you want, and reassign them really quickly. Uh, so let's talk about, lastly, let's go over to Kong here, because there's a couple cool things that we can do. Uh, we have 16 pads in Kong, but no, we only got eight pads here 
um, on the impact, um, which is fine because actually we can quickly shift pad maps here. So right now we're in pad, pad map one, but I can easily switch over to pad map to two. Uh, if I need to go through and access those other pads. And, you know, if I wanted to reassign it, maybe take pad number 16 and put it down to where everything would basically be on pad map one. That's actually really easy to do too. So uh, go into pad learn, hit the pad I want to send it to basically, which will be this one. And then just find just like this one, hit pad learn. Now it's been reassigned, so you'll see there's one, two, three, and then it jumps up to the top one, which is cool. Uh, some other things. What is that? Number five. Let's go back over here. I think we can do um, things like pitch and volume and panning are all basically controlled uh, by your knobs. So if I do this. and change that. I said volume before. Uh, and panning as well. I think it's maybe this one. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a list of what each of those parameters control in the uh, manual as well too. But overall, really cool. I've been very happy with it. Pads are actually really nice. Really responsive. And uh, goes off without a hitch uh, with Reason. But it's also compatible with other programs like Studio One, Logic, uh, Reaper, I'm trying to think of things off the top of my head. There's actually seven different uh, DAWs that it's compatible with. And actually, it comes with Studio One Artist in the box too, uh, which is pretty awesome if you've never used Studio One before. So there you have it. That is the Impact LX49 from Nectar and um, how it works with Reason. I'll probably do some more of these things uh, as I get some of those other DAWs going. Thanks. Talk to you later.